Example 2.8 or 3.8 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this example, we have a car of 1200 kilograms, which is cruising steadily in a level road at 90 kilometers per hour. The car starts climbing a hill at a slope of 30 degrees from the horizontal axis as it is shown. If the velocity of the car remains at that particular speed, we need to determine the additional power that must be delivered by the engine in order to climb this hill. The list of the known values are provided as well as what we need to find. The assumption of these problems is that the, the velocity remains constant, which means that the kinetic energy does not change. We also are going to ignore the effect of friction uh, in this process. In order to start the analysis, we need to do a balance of energy. So what we need to find is the amount of work that we're going to have, and that is going to be equal to the change in the kinetic energy plus the change in the potential energy. Notice that we said that the velocity remains constant, therefore the change in the kinetic energy is going to be equal to zero. Therefore, the amount of work is going to be simply the change in potential energy. That means that is going to be the mass, the gravitational acceleration, and the value of the elevation, delta z. However, in this case, we're looking for power, and power is simply the amount of work divided by the change in time. So we're just simply going to divide this by delta t in both sides. And this is going to give us the amount of power. And then notice that in this case, the change of the height uh, divided by the change in time results in the change of velocity. So this is going to be basically the velocity that, we, that the car is driving at. Therefore, this is going to be the mass gravitational acceleration and the velocity at which the car is moving. Um, notice that this car, the value that it's having is 90 degrees along the slope. And we need to be able to calculate the value in the uh, proper axis. So the way that we're going to do that is simply by multiplying it by sine of 30 degrees in order to get the proper coordinate system. Therefore, when we calculate the amount of work that we're going to have, we need to have the mass, which is 1,200 kilograms, the um, acceleration, gravitational acceleration, the velocity, which is 90 uh, times 10 to the 3, because we have to say in meters per hour, and then one hour is equal to 3600 seconds and then we lastly multiply it by sine of 30. Therefore this amount of uh, power that we get is going to be equal to 147, 150 and then if you uh, look at the units you're going to see that this converts into a watt or we simply said that is 147, uh, kilowatt. Once again, please recall that we multiply by the value of sine of 30 because what we're looking for is the difference in the uh, vertical uh, direction and that's what provides us potential energy. That's why we have to multiply it by the component of the angle in order to give us the vertical uh, difference in elevations.